to Bella Colina. This is a golf course that is very special here in Central Florida. It's an exclusive golf course. I was invited by a very kind friend to come check it out. We're gonna play all 18 at Bella Colina today. I'm so looking forward to this. Here we are on hole number one, Bella Colina. You can see it is an unbelievable golf community here. You can see those houses right down there. A lot of sand. I'm so looking forward to this day. Let's go. That's Come money right now. there. Just got a legit bogey here on the number five, five, I think it was. It was amazing. So for me, I'm very happy with those things. Legit bogey. Legit, it was awesome. Now we're on, I think we're on number six. We're on hole six now. Here's the only waterway in Bella Colina. Everything else is grass. I only lost one ball so far compared to the first time I played where I lost 11. This is pretty good. Go, go. Now somebody didn't tell people at Bella Colina that a par four should not be 530 yards. That's uh, mm -hmm. now this is hole six, seven, eight. This is eight, all right. It's not the whole, that's not the end down there. <laughs> Still fun. My ball went right for a tree, a huge tree, right over there. Hit directly into the tree. It did like a boom, boom, boom in the tree and then knocked it right back into the fairway. And here we are, right back in the fairway, right there. That's, that's playing golf the right way, using the tree to your advantage. So you think it's an obstacle, you think you're gonna go down on those, and now you're gonna use this tree. And just, there you are, right now, oh, I love it. Let it be said, now to eternity. Hole nine, Bella Kalina doesn't like anybody. <laughs> it's a tough one. That's that. Yeah, that's true, 100%. <laughs> These houses right here, look at those are right by the course. Imagine living right here next to this uh, professional golf course here. Really outstanding. Again, tough one. I lost another ball here, so that's two balls lost during Bella Kalina. But still loving it, really am. On hole number 10, hit one straight and true. And you can see there's a whole lot of bunkers out there, so you gotta be cautious when playing here. There it is, middle of the fairway. You should have seen that shot. You should have seen that shot from right here. About 105, I think it was, right onto the green. Pitching wedge for me, right onto the green. And this is a par four? Par four, par birdie four. Birdie four. Birdie this birdie is the birdie five. putt. This could be my first birdie ever. This It could be happening right now. All right, Michael's first ever birdie attempt coming up. It's on its way. It's on its way. Right. Stay up. Oh! That's yeah. a, we'll get that for you for par. par. We'll That's par. a good par. Come on now, legit. I figured out the secret. Before you do anything in golf, before you putt, before you drive, before you chip in, smile. Just prior. Just prior. You'll be happy. Very happy that you did. It's definitely improved my game. Bit of a drizzle right now as we are experiencing rain for our golf game. Now, it's important to note this is not lightning. So if there was lightning, we would be... Uh, We'd be headed for cover just because it's very important to be safe when you're out on the golf course. But yeah, it's a light sprinkle and it's a super hot day, so it feels really good. All right, Michael is having one one wonderful day of golf here. Improvements have been crazy in the past three months. Here he is. It's up in the air, but it will play. A little foot slip, but hey, it's in the fairway. It's working. Both the fairway. They're both in the fairway. There you go. We'll take it. Now, one of the most important things to do when, when you're playing golf is to stay hydrated and stay happy and excited because when you get this hole 17 and it's sunny here in Florida, you're tempted to be like, oh my gosh, I'm done. <laughs> so, don't get frustrated. It's very important. And make sure you stay hydrated. It's a great sound. My ball's over here on 17. We're finishing up now. Finish strong, enjoying it, still smiling. Most important part. Just finished 18. Take a look at the uh, lounge, the club behind me. Beautiful, looks like Italy. It's amazing. We're gonna go in there in just a minute. Take a look. Finished 18, exhausted. That's how you should feel after 18 holes when the sun is kind of shining from time to time here in Central Florida. Bella Colina, there's our little commemorative scorecard here. I have not been keeping score at any of my golf games recently or at all, ever actually, but still always fun 
to remember the game. Now I think it's time for food. We're gonna try food at Bella Kalina, let you know what we think. Take a look at this amazing club here. Definitely has that kind of Italian feel to it. You can see the brickwork on the buildings. Looks aged, really, really extreme theming here. I love it. Getting food here at Bella Kalina. Take a look at these stairs as we make our way up here. It's really just unbelievable feel to it. It is an incredible experience just to see the stairs. I mean, how much of this was taken directly from an Italian like village somewhere? I can only imagine. Wow. It gets more and more impressive as we walk past the fountain here. Check this out. It's a well, and then you've got this area for seating outside. And of course, we've got our little dining area. Before we go in there, we're just taking one more look. Look at that. Here's the club restaurant menu. You can see there are some amazing looking items here. Really, really excited for this. I was told this is some of the best food around. Really, really excited for this. Definitely deserve it, given how much we played that AT. You have to kind of be used to playing AT because if you don't play it for a long time, it will just knock you down, as it, I feel like it did, but that for food. So I decided to go with the Cuban sandwich, which looks delicious, told it was fantastic. And we're also getting that half Bella salad on the side. Told that this is really, really delicious. They all come with your own sides. We're also going to get these Sidewinder fries. Here's that half Bella salad from Bella Kalina. You can see there's a lot to this. As a half salad, that's that's pretty big. It uh, looks delicious. Give it a bite down. Gotta tell you, that is a pretty good salad right there. Got some great tomatoes in there. Strawberries really do make this one delicious. Great for kind of starting the meal after a super hot and exhausting 18 rounds. Yeah. That's a great start right there. Here it is, the Cuban sandwich. Look at that one. It looks incredible. Giant pieces there and those fries. You see these fries. They are just fantastic. Look at those. Almost like curly fly, but fry, but not quite Cuban sandwich. I am ready to chow down on this one. You ready? Bon appetit. Gotta tell you, this Cuban sandwich is phenomenal. Super good flavors throughout. Would want it cooked just a little bit more tender, just a tiny bit more tender, but delicious. The fries are fantastic. Almost seasoned, not quite, but there you can tell they're super like extra fried, I think, with the ketchup there. Outstanding. Food here, Bella Felina. Yeah, if you're thinking about getting food here, I would, personally. And the Cuban sandwich is one I would definitely get again. Meal here at Bella Kalina, I just can't get over the decor and the look of this amazing place all around. It's just it's fantastic. It's incredible. You get a chance to see it. I highly recommend it. Just gonna take some extra photos before we make our way out. Overall, an incredible experience golfing at Bella Kalina. You can see we're at TTC now, just kind of closing out our day here. When you golf 18 in Florida in the heat, really does exhaust you so don't forget to hydrate when you are there there are lots of hydration stops along the way many golf courses in florida and i'm sure all around have the uh, hydration stops where you can stop during your round it is a ton of fun i was thinking about switching to graphite clubs if you know more about golf than i do please do let me know your thoughts in the comments the graphite i feel like it'd be a little easier i also need to get new grips because my grips are very tough to hang on to and can leave some blisters after a while so if you're just getting started golfing Think about graphite. If you have any suggestions for where we should golf in the future here in Central Florida, let me know in the comments. I am gonna be looking for some new spots and eventually be looking for new clubs as well. I mean, just searching around, trying to find some that make sense for me. So far, my driver's been getting me about 290. If you play golf, about 290 yards or so when I could make contact. It's definitely getting better. There's no question my golf game is getting better, but it goes, you know, it goes to show Practice, practice, practice. Only way to get good at anything. So slowly but surely, we're getting there. Let me know if you like the golf videos in the comments below. Thanks so much for being a part of this adventure with me. Until next time, have a truly magical day.